Welcome to Partners in Health and Biz with your host, Gail Dixon. Tune in every Saturday, 9 a.m. for great shows about obtaining and maintaining health, business, and finance. Learn from the experts here at PIHradio.net. And now, broadcasting from the Partners in Health and Biz studio, here's Gail. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to my show. Welcome to Partners in Health and Biz. A little bit about Dr. Blackston. Dr. Marilyn Blackston is a board-certified otolaryngologist. I knew I was going to mess that up. Laryngologist, head, which is a head and neck surgeon. She has a BS from Brown University and an MD from the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Dr. Blackston is the first African-American woman to complete a surgical residency at the University of Maryland. Well, because of injuries from a motor vehicle accident, she can no longer perform surgery, but she received her, uh, she's licensed and certified as a wellness coach, and she received that in 2008. In 2011, Dr. Blackston became certified in Emotional Freedom Technique, or EFT, which means it's a means to help clients with their fears, frustrations, and emotional distress. And how many of us are suffering with fears, frustrations, and emotional distress? Dr. Blackston is a biblically-based practitioner focused on improving the spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical health of clients. Her services are open to all, but she specializes in assisting middle-aged aged professional women embrace a permanently healthy lifestyle to the point that they naturally lose weight and their physicians discontinue pre prescribed medications. Wow, wow, wow. Dr. Blackstone has been interviewed on radio, television, and print on various health top health subjects. She is the author of two books, Rebuilding the Temple, A Spiritual Journey to Wholeness, and Rebuilding the Temple, Healing for Body, Mind, and Spirit. She has also recorded two meditation CDs, Rebuilding the Temple, Meditations, Volume 1 and 2. Dr. Blackston coaches, she coaches individually and in groups. She is a popular speaker to groups, corporations, and conferences, and available as a breakout presenter, panelist, and keynote speaker. She focuses on helping her clients to have a healthy lifestyle by balancing diet, exercise, and managing stress. Dr. Blackston was born and raised in the Baltimore, Maryland area and is the proud mother of two grown children. So, You can connect with Dr. Blackston at www.drblackston.com. And without further ado, I am going to open up Dr. (laughs) Dr. Marilyn Blackston's microphone and welcome her to Partners in Health and Biz. Good Good morning. morning, Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Uh, Allergies aside. (laughs) I I know. I know. I know. (laughs) Yes. Let me tell you, I have been knowing Dr. Blackston, wow, I've actually lost track of the time. I think it's been over, uh, certainly over five years that we've been knowing oh, yes, each other. definitely, yes. And she has been a guest on my show several times. She is not, this is not her first time being my guest on Partners in Health and Biz. And we were discussing yesterday our allergies, and um, and I was telling her how I had been suffering, had been had actually had gone into remission for a few minutes, <laughs> maybe for about a day it seemed, and then I went outside in the yard, started pulling weeds, and what in the world happened? It started all over again. So today's show, and today Dr. Blackston, she is going to educate us and help us deal with these allergy situations that we many of us are suffering from. So, Marilyn, <laughs> Dr. Blackston, <laughs> let's just get right into this topic. Uh, you know, exactly what is the cause of allergies? So many people are suffering from them, but sometimes we don't even understand what the cause of it is. Well, it, it, the cause of it rests in your immune system. Your body has a natural system to ward off foreigners. Anything that's mm-hmm. not natural to your body, it and so when we breathe in the pollen, 
eat the food that we're allergic to or whatever, your body responds to that and rejects it. And the symptoms can be varied. It, it, uh, of course, with seasonal allergies, you have the runny nose, the sneezing, the runny eyes, sometimes headaches, um, and, and sometimes it goes on to sinusitis, which is a whole different ball game. Mm-hmm. People don't realize <laughs> that asthma is mostly, most of the asthma is rooted in allergy. Okay. And um, and to get back to the root of the problem, the upheaval in your immune system is from stress. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And, okay. and so you got allergies, you have asthma. Many people have migraines that are rooted. I am one of them that are rooted in allergy. Mm, okay. And, know you know, that. all of that is, is really from stress. So the, the to get to the root of the problem, I mean, you can treat the symptoms, but to get to the root of the problem is that you have to minimize your stress. You have to meditate, you know, do, I don't know, yoga, um, you know, tai chi, kijang, those kind of things that are rooted in your breathing, deep mm-hmm. breathing, calming yourself down. And um, you you got to actually believe what you profess you believe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know we had discussed that also. Um, so many people don't believe that the actually the natural ways to help ourselves uh, work much better. You have so many people that are running to their uh, doctors to get prescribed medications where when here you are saying, telling us right now, the cause of these things for the most part are it, it, it's stress related. And so if we exactly. meditate and like you say, do yoga and deep breathing, um, sometimes I'm telling you when I'm having an allergy attack, though, I'm afraid to do any deep breathing, but I know it helps to do the deep breathing in advance to having an allergy attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, it's better to do it before the attack comes, and then the, the, the attack will be abated or it will be even less. Okay. People don't realize how closely connected our body is to our head. When we're stressed out, when we're thinking negative thoughts, we're thinking bad things about ourselves. You know, it's a, it's a, what do you call it? A, a prophecy. You know, you, you, prophecy, when you worry yeah. about things, it's like praying for what you don't want. It's, it's really mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. And um, I need to also mention the emotional freedom technique, and that's a quick and easy uh, method. Um, it's actually acupuncture without the needles, and it, you can learn it yourself. You can do it for yourself, and that's a good way to relieve stress. Okay. So you said this is acupuncture without needles, and yes. this is called EFT, and this is a um, a system that you actually teach or instruct people on yeah, how I to do. Yeah, I teach, and, and I use, I, I see people, sometimes people need some guidance to get to the underlying issues of why they're fearful or why they're depressed or, you know, what what's really upsetting them. And it's usually not something that's on the surface. Mm, right. It's right, usually something right. that's very deep-seated that, that I, I just remember there's a movie out called The Tapping Solution, and that's the common name for EFT, tapping. And this gentleman had severe back pain. And he had he was a veteran. He had been a Vietnam vet. And he blamed his back pain on his um, interaction with his father. But then he realized as he was tapping that it was even deeper than that. And it just, it it, it all was rooted in he had a really negative self-image and negative self-view. And he not only had back pain, he had post-traumatic stress syndrome, which meant that he didn't sleep and he had flashbacks and all of that. The tapping not only took care of the back pain, but it took care of the post-traumatic stress as well. So oh, we wow. we have a, a lot of physical issues that manifest out of things that have happened. Most of the stuff happens in childhood that mm-hmm. that just um, causes upheaval in our emotional system, and it just sits there, and mm-hmm. it 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 roots itself into different organs, and so you'll come along and have a chronic kidney problem because the kidneys hold fear, you'll have a, a you'll get a liver infection and or liver disease and uh, the liver holds anger. 
Okay. And so uh, the pancreas, a lot of people get pancreatic cancer. Pancreas holds a, a, a real displeasure, distrust with mankind. You know, you feel like people around you are just not good. Um, they're out to get you. That's It holds it in the pancreas. So there are a lot of different things. And the body is just so interconnected. It's 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 a really amazing to me. The um I recently taught a course in anatomy and they've discovered that the heart has its own neurological system and sometimes oh. it overrides the brain. Oh, okay. So the Bible hmm. says to guard your heart because it's the wellspring of life. Well, that's a true statement. Well, I'm telling you, I'm tr- I'm taking notes as you're speaking, and I hope my <laughs> listeners are taking notes because this is some powerful information that you're sharing. Um, I knew that fear and stress, particularly uh-huh. stress, that stress could cause um, physical problems in your body and cause you to have, uh, for instance, the migraines. I knew about that, and I knew it could, you know, cause maybe, you know, just minor headaches and things of that nature. But, and then I I had a feeling that it could cause some type of stomach problems because I know a lot mm-hmm. of times when we're anxious or nervous, uh, irritated, we'll have um, pains in our stomach. But I didn't, yeah. I had no idea until you shared, with, shared this with me, with us today, that the kidneys, kidneys hold the fears. And the liver holds anger, and the pancreas holds yeah. distrust of mankind. I'm just, I'm just taking notes. I'm telling you. So, <laughs> wow, this is, this is, this is, this is powerful information. So now this will help our listeners to think about what's going on with them, with, uh-huh. with them. What's, what's actually going on with you? It's not just a headache, <laughs> like you said. It may not be just a stomach ache. It may not be just a back ache. And they will, um, because of you coming on, now they have a person they can come to when these things are going on in their lives and they can contact you and you can mm-hmm. actually help help them through these different situations. So I am I am just so blessed that you um, you're here and you're able to talk to me and be my special guest this morning. So we want to um, move on to the next question. And I want to, again, encourage my listeners to call in if you have questions. I'm sure you do, or comments. And um, so my next question to you, uh, Dr. Blackston, are what are some – and if you're finished with that one, I, I know that's – <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty – But I, I do want to add – that, um, you know, when we're talking about allergies, um, you know, because I've been trained in dealing with the pollen allergies, but also food allergies. Okay. And what people don't realize is that um, the the large, there's been a large increase in food allergies among their children. It's because their environment has been too clean. Mm. And you say, well, you know, I don't want my kid exposed to germs and all of that, but that's what builds up his immune system. Oh, and people okay. in Africa don't have peanut allergies and all the different food allergies. They don't have it, um, you know, okay. that 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 are exposed to, we call it unsanitary conditions, but that's what builds up their immune system. It either kills you or it builds you up. <laughs> okay, so. Uh- Wow, this okay, this makes sense a lot of sense. Just think, Marilyn, and I know you already have said but in the United States, so many of our um kids and it's been going on for uh, for at least a couple of decades now with mm-hmm. modern technology and everything and our children are no longer playing outside as much they're either um playing video games or they're watching T V or they're on their iPhones or their iPads, and they don't get out and get it actually um, down and dirty, as you would say. Yeah, they, Whereas, don't, they don't play in the dirt. They don't eat the dirt. You know, some <laughs> people, you know, don't want their kids playing in sand and dirt. But that's mm-hmm. where, you know, the low-down, dirty germs are. But that's what builds up your immune system. 
Mm, okay, okay. So that would explain why some of, so many uh, kids are now have they have uh, more allergies than ever before. Um, mm-hmm. I was doing my own research 